Hey, Matt here. I just ran home from school because I wanted to make this video. Today, Eliminate finally released something, and it's the his new EP, Belly of the Beast. Um, one of these songs is an ID I have been looking forward to for releasing for well over a year at this point. And um, I, I can just say that I'm really going to enjoy this EP. This is going to be me reacting to it, and if you want to see the ranking of the video of the EP, which will be in the video as well, skip to that. Starting off with the kind of ominous intro, I'm not sure I remember it sounding like this. Actually, yeah, it did, definitely did. This was such a good set opener back in 2020. Who does he eliminate? Them? Okay, this is a great intro, not gonna lie. I, I remembered it, but like, this is still great. It's just really hype. Like, it really makes you excited for what goes it Eliminates little vocals are always great. They're like, robotic in nature. Oh my god. The sound design is just top notch. Again. Build right. I remember what this drop sounds like, but we'll see if he had anything different. That lead is so gnarly, oh my god. This little screech, like, I don't know if to call it a screech, it's so good, man. <laughs> now it's an eliminate song. <laughs> it's not seeing this finally released, man. Not much new was there, but like... Yeah, really not much, not a ton of new stuff, but it's, it's so nice to see this get a real release. I don't remember this part, though. Second drop, maybe? I, don't, I doubt it, because there's only like 40 seconds left in the song. This outro, man. So nice. I would have liked more than one drop, but the first drop has enough variation in it to uh, be entertaining. I, I will say, though, that it's really not much different than the ID, and maybe if you haven't listened to the ID, this is something new to you, and it slaps, because it does slap. Eliminate making actual dubstep, not his beep boop screechy stuff. But, uh, yeah, this, it's good. Um, okay, this is nice. A 
Okay, this is kind of hype. Please have some more variation though. Don't be the same thing over and over again. Okay, that goes. I can appreciate the sound design here. It's pretty good. It's just standard eliminate though, not gonna, like, ah, uh, for sound design. I, I mean, it's just eliminate, doing eliminate things, and, uh, yeah, on to more of the song. <laughs> Okay, I really like this build up. Like the build ups have been good. <laughs> okay. That's better. <laughs> That's sub, oh my god. Yeah, that was Wormhole. Uh, not much to say about that one. First drop, didn't really feel the pattern or the lead, but that second drop definitely brought it up. Still didn't enjoy it as, as much as the first song. Um, and yeah, I, I hope the EP gets better than that because I wasn't huge on that, not gonna lie. Up until the second drop, it was like kind of boring. Although I enjoyed it, it's not a song I feel I would come back to much. And when I listen to music, I want to come back to a song, you know, because I want to. It, I want the song to be something I like. And although I liked this, it's not one I feel I personally would come back to much. Um, uh, but yeah, that sub was pretty good, and it fit really well. I didn't pay attention to the percussion, I'm gonna be honest. I don't generally pay attention to percussion in a song unless it's absolutely bonkers. And I felt, yeah, it was kind of standard there, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, on to the next song. Drop it like an elevator, huh? An interesting vocal. Ooh. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is, it's, 
pretty standard eliminate, but I'm really digging these midsections. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. This sample is surprisingly catchy. I'm not sure why it works as well as it does, it's just working good. I'm too dumb to tell if this is house or not, but this is good. If this is house, tell me in the comments. I'm too dumb to tell. I feel like it's a base house, but I feel it's like it's also not. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> that was good. Uh, I like the patterns, although there wasn't as much variation as I expected in the song. I think it just makes up and it's a fun, bouncy, and overall enjoyable song. Good thing my mic's still on, I thought it turned out for a second. Um, yeah, I'm just overall happy with what this song is. I don't know, it's, it's better than Warhol, but... It's still very debatable if it's better than the first one. I don't know. On the next song. Nate has always done a great job at implementing vocal chops into his songs. Like with Crystal Eyes, I um, really enjoyed them. And I guess they're not vocal chops. I'm, I'm done. I don't know. Maybe they are. I'm, I don't really know the term for the exact definition of vocal chops, so I shouldn't be saying things, but ignore if I say something wrong, you know? Yeah, this is nice. That's all... Uh, The more melodic aspect of this song is great. Oh man, this goes. Is this a garage midsection? I like garage. Great watery feel to this. It's really good. Oh, this is definitely the best of the EP so far. This is nuts. I'm liking that vocal sample, chop, whatever it is. I don't care. Oh! The implementation of the vocal chop in the drop, that is nice. Oh, 
Although I do prefer the first drop, I really like the direction he went with this second drop. I, I think it's very interesting and a lot more enjoyable and ear-catching than if he just took the first drop and added some variation in the melody. Uh, that second drop is well made. Yeah, that first drop is nuts. Um, the transitions between the drops and how sudden they are is a great, like, it just smoothly goes into the drop and it just sucks you into it. And, uh, yeah, I like that a lot. Probably my favorite from the EP. Yeah. Uh, so far, this is... Kind of, it's, uh, it's on a similar tier with the um, Cyber Whale EP for me. I'm not sure if I like it more than the Dead Sea EP yet, but uh, we'll see if the next song changes my mind. On to the next song. I'm not sure how I feel about that vocal sa sample. It's, it's catchy, but it's kind of annoying. Please don't repeat it throughout the whole song. Please don't. Oh! Okay. That's nice. The snare is pretty standard. Wait. Okay, I like those hi-hats. Those hats are nice. Oh! Okay. That's nice. Okay, now it's just catchy. It's not annoying at this point. This is this is probably my favorite of the EP. This or walk away. This is this is nuts. Okay, best of the EP. Oh, that's nice. That pattern is so nice, though. A little almond breaks, if that's what they're called, in, like in between transitions, is really nice, too. Kind of a lackluster outro, but with what's here, it's kind of hard to make a great outro. Like, it's not like the first song, where it had a really nice intro melody that could be used as the outro melody. I think. This song, in terms of drop strength, is definitely the best one. Um, but in terms of like midsections and stuff, I'm, I really enjoyed um, Walk Away and the first one. Those ones both had pretty, pretty good midsections and intros and stuff. But yeah, this one's definitely a contender for my favorite of the EP so far. Um, this video, as of being recorded, is Friday. But since I usually wait for all the visuals to come out, don't expect this video to be up uh, until probably like Sunday, because I usually use all the visuals um, when I make a ranking video, because I want it to look good, you know? <laughs> and uh, here's just let's just hope Disciple doesn't screw me over with the visuals. Um, but yeah onto the ranking video, which won't be made until two days from now when I'm recording this. But, uh, yeah. Maybe my, uh, my opinions will probably change in, during those two days. So, um, if you notice any changes, just expect that. Uh, yeah, see you in the ranking video, I guess. What do you want to move?
Then it's 